and welcome to the next episode of Choose Your IV. So today's lab is about making ice cream. Why in the world are we talking about making ice cream when we're talking about solids, liquids, and gases? Hmm. What do you think, Miss Andy Chai? Well, you know, when I make ice cream, I add a solid and a liquid, and you shake it up, and then you add ice, and things happen. So what the things that are happening is exactly the thing that I want you all to think about while you're working on this. So we've been talking about solids, liquids, gases, and plasma, and we know that plasma doesn't really exist here, so that's why I don't really mention it when we're talking solids, liquids, gases, because we're talking about the stuff we find here on Earth. <laughs> now, well, there is some plasma, but it's way down deep, and if you get to it, <laughs> You're not coming back. <laughs> but anyway, um, so the point is that as we are shaking the ice and as we are shaking the ice cream, the, the milk, the half and half, eventually the particles that are loose and flowy liquid end up locking together in a matrix into a solid. Now, it's not a solid like the table solid. It's a solid like butter is solid. It's a solid like ice cream is solid. So it's don't expect to be able to like, you know, weight paper down with it but it is going to be more solid than the fluid of the half and half so what are you gonna need you need a container um this is made by rubbermaid it's one of the take-alongs they were a couple of bucks for two this i inherited i honestly don't know where it came from um but you need something plastic with a resealable lid can you think of any other things that they could use um in my kitchen i have um I like to use a Rubbermaid container with a clip-on lid. Number of times this one popped off, that would be a good idea. Yeah. Um, but it, uh, a spaghetti jar, like I, I use a, when I can buy Prego, I get a big jar of Prego. Oh, right. So the, the big the Prego size. jar. Yeah, like the family size Prego jar is plastic. It's got a screw-on lid. It would be a lot like this one. And we did find that that one worked really well. So if you've got a Prego jar, thing to do. You're going to need something. Towel something between your hands and the ice. Gloves, <laughs> hot mat, something. You're going to need a half a cup measuring cup. I didn't have half a cup, so I just used a quarter cup twice. Because she equals a half. You're going to need a teaspoon and a tablespoon. I then also used this measuring cup just because I would pour the salt into this and scoop it out because it was very difficult to measure the salt straight out of this. So this isn't mandatory. You can just have a cup, but just something to scoop the salt out of. Vanilla. This is pure vanilla extract. You can get imitation, but I don't recommend it. <laughs> sugar. Just plain old granulated sugar. Rock salt. Um, ice cream salt is very often what it's called. Bottom shelf of the, the aisle in Walmart where all the salt and stuff are. So what are your possible IVs? So one possibility would be your type of container. So as you can see, we have two container choices here. Um, and I did do one test where I used this one and one test where I used that one. Another option would be your salt, amount of salt. So uh, six tablespoons is what it calls for in the lab. Vary that. Do one where you do no salt. Do one where you do 12 tablespoons of salt. That was what I did. We're going to ignore the phone for now because we're too far into this. Another possible IV would be the base. And maybe we are going to film this again because I completely forgot to go get it. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is pause and answer the phone and then come back. And look at that. <laughs> so your other choice for IV would be your type of ice cream base. So um, whipping cream is normally what people use, but the um, instructions call for half and half. So um, that's why I bought lots of half and half because I did all of my tests using half and half, except for the one where the IV was the type of ice cream base. And then I used half a cup of whipping cream in one of them and half a cup of half and half, half and half in the other one. Whatever your IV is, you are going to still follow the directions pretty much the same. You just need to make sure you click on the correct video and follow that along. Now, I did not have crushed ice. I bought bagged ice at Walmart or whatever, Dollar General. I don't remember, but I bought ba uh, bag ice someplace. So I decided this morning, especially because I had left my ice cream uh, at home in the freezer, um, to run one more test 
and thank goodness for my teacher friends, Ms. Baldwin and Ms. Duncan Saylor, because they sh stood in here shake, shake, shaking for me for 12 minutes. So thank you, ladies. Love you. So we have this lovely ice cream. Now, one of them was shaken up. That one was shaken up inside this container. And this one was shaken up inside this container, inside the bowl. Both of them were made using the whipping cream, though, because when I did the test, I found out that whipping cream worked a lot better. Also, I used 12 tablespoons of salt because I also found out that 12 tablespoons of salt worked better. Um, what do you think about the consistency of your ice cream there, Miss Andertag? Oh, I like it. Does it feel like ice cream? Yes, it feels very much like ice cream. So mine... Like a soft serve ice cream. Right. Well, if you switch, mine has some places where it feels like ice cream, but some places where it just feels like milkshake. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of lumpy. Yeah. And so yeah. even though it was done, exact, everything was the same except for the container, obviously something happens using that container that makes it so that it makes the ice cream a little bit faster, a little bit better. And they both have just been sitting here in this cold water for a while now. So you would think if that was what did it, they would both be equally firm. So, you know, anyway, um, hopefully this has started you off correctly and you know what you need to do. So now you're going to gather your materials. You're going to Choose your IV and select one of the videos to watch and then fill out the lab sheet. Thank you all so much. And if you have enough ingredients and you want to make more, go right ahead and but ask. I mean, honestly, you're supposed to do it five times anyway. So, but definitely ask. Don't use up all your mom's half and half without asking. <laughs> all right, y'all. Make good decisions. <laughs> Bye. Bye.